I'm Noel Blenko. Um, I'm the Governance and Finance Team Leader at Ceres. Um, I've been at Ceres for um, almost 20 years now. Started as a school teacher in Brunswick and um, we got a grant to have a teacher at Ceres so I took took the position of that the grant pa paid and um, have been here since 1983. Ceres um, is spelt C-E-R-E-S. Ceres is the Roman goddess of agriculture um, and the letters of Ceres are an acronym for Centre for Education and Research in Environmental Strategies. Um, so Ceres' basic purpose is about um, environmental issues um, and also community issues, um, initially on, on a very local scale, but in recent times um, looking on a much broader scale and thinking in terms of, of um, acting locally and thinking globally. Ceres is um, on, um, on the outskirts of Brunswick, um, in Brunswick East, on the banks of the Merry Creek. Um, quite easy to get to, only five kilometres from the city. Um, the closest public transport is by the 96 tram that leaves from Burke Street in the city and um, finishes up at, at Blythe Street um, in Nicholson Street in East Brunswick and that's about a two minute walk from Ceres. Ceres has got five or six different um, areas of work. Um, one of them is in community programs and they were probably the first ones that got started. Ceres actually um, began on a tip site. Um, this, the site is 10 acres in size and um, used to be a bluestone quarry for quarrying a lot of the bluestone for Melbourne. Um, it um, then was used for a tip in the 82. The local council gave this tip site to, to Ceres. So we've existed on it um, with, the, with the grace of Moran City Council who basically give us the 10 acres of land um, for a peppercorn rent. Um, so that's a, a major, major support for us. Um, the local council is a major support for us. Um, so the first projects that began on Ceres were community projects and so we started with community gardens. There was a local group really interested in and looking for land for community gardens so they set up. Um, soon after that we had a community chook group and a community bee group and a collection of farm animals and the Alternative Technology Association came here to, um, with a special interest in looking at alternative energy sources and, um, and alternative lifestyles. So they constructed their building which is, um, d demonstrates um, solar power and, and wind power and other alternative sorts of power. Um, so community organisations is one um, part of our activity. Um, on the basis of a whole lot of interesting things that were happening at Ceres, we built an education program for school kids. And we had a special focus of our education programs which were that the kids would come and learn by doing rather than learning from textbooks and they'd learn from real things that were happening rather than from a theoretical or booky sort of way of learning. They'd be, come and be in the middle of the community and they'd learn from real things that were happening there and usually by doing something, by creating something. So we built up a um, variety of educational types of programs that um, began to become consolidated around environmental um, type programs and um, multicultural education programs. So now we have 60,000 school kids that come in a year and they'll be engaged in activities related to the sun power and wind power, um, the local creek, um, creatures in the water and dams and waterways, waste recycling, um, organic gardening, um, that, that sort of variety of activities. Um, or in the culture activities, and we have a, an African village, we have a um, Kui education program, we have Indonesian education, Maori education, Indian education, so a variety of different cultural education programs. And that sort of supports the community 
part of our program in lots of ways too, um, where we try and have um, involve the community in a whole lot of different activities. A third area of our activity relates to that, and that's having festivals. We have a variety of um, um, quite large festivals, some of them quite large festivals. Um, the Kingfisher Festival is our main festival in November, and it celebrates, but essentially celebrates um, the environmental um, success in revegetating the Mary Creek, um, which was once a, a rubbish dump for industry and car bodies and all sorts of things. Um, but with the work of the Mary Creek Management Committee and councils along the creek, it's been revegetated. So the Kingfisher, which wasn't seen for many years, has now returned. So we have a, a Kingfisher Festival every year to celebrate that, and that gets together. We have something like a thousand local actors, school children, um, elderly groups, choirs, disabled groups, multicultural groups involved in doing something for that festival. So festivals is another part of our work. Um, we also um, have some enterprises at Ceres. Um, our cafe is one of them. Um, our nursery and um, Saturday morning market for um, organic veggies. They, they, on one hand, keep us going, um, pay for the bills of the staff that are here. Um, secondly, they demonstrate some practically something environmental. They've each got a strong environmental part to them. Um, and thirdly, they've, all of them have arisen out of job creation programs, which is another part of our work. So we've, uh, we've had a long stretch of training programs and work experience programs, work for the doll programs, job skills training programs. We've had a long span of them, and from them we, we attempt to create new work areas in, in community-related um, type new jobs or in environmental new jobs. So we try and create new jobs from um, new developments in environmental or community areas. We set up a, a um, work for the doll program to convert some of our paddock space into market gardens. Um, so they were growing um, organic produce. Um, part of that went into our cafe and the other part of it um, we feed into Saturday morning market and we also buy a lot of food in, organic food, organic fruit and veggies. Um, so they're probably the major areas of our work. Some of the particular sustainable programs that, that Ceres has. Um, one, we have um, a number of displays um, on alternative energy. So we generate all the power for the site from photovoltaic cells that are up in our energy park um, and um, a wind generator on site. Um, so that generates all the electricity for the site. So um, they're a demonstration that it can happen, that you can do it. And, and we'd like to, um, part of what we'd like to do is to show people practically um, things that they can do that, that will um, work towards a sustainable environment. Um, Related to that energy side, um, we've, we've had a number of initiatives and are actually planning to go a lot further than we are at the moment, but we've made one step um, for vehicles in, in having a van that runs on biodiesel instead of um, normal diesel. And that biodiesel is made from um, recycled fish and chip oil um, that's normally just thrown out. Um, and that's um, converted into biodiesel and, and our van runs on that.